Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Main Males, where we talk all things hair, and today we'll be talking about hair loss and how I lost a third of my hair. <laughs> Shall we begin? Now there are a number of reasons why you would experience hair loss, and today I will talk about a few, and including my experience with hair loss. Okay, so I have narrowed it down to three reasons why you could be losing your hair and the three main reasons for me are leaving your hair dry um, in between the washes and the second one would be high manipulation hairstyles or tight hairstyles and the third one being um, decanking. So, so let's break these three down. Let's start with dry hair. So. Um, if you're drying your hair and you are using a towel instead of a t-shirt, um, you're actually um, stripping out the moisture, the good moisture that you've literally just put in your hair. So I, I would suggest if you are using a towel, try using a t-shirt, this one, um, as long as it's cotton, anything that's, I, that's not a towel, because the towel will just literally does what towel does. Is supposed to do. Um, it takes out all the moisture. Mm. It then leaves your hair really, really, really dry. So you would actually have defeated the, pers the purpose of um, moisturizing your hair with the water and shampoo. Um, and as well, if you are not using the lock method, um, which is most famously known as the um, liquid oil and cream so i almost said leave in <laughs> so yeah um leave in i just did it again oh my gosh um liquid oil and cream so you need to ensure that you do that just so you can seal in the moisture into your strands and this helps you if you you don't want to keep moisturizing your hair excessively during the week or in between your washes um, and the other reason is deep conditioning and if you're not deep conditioning your hair um, you're actually not giving your hair the vitamins that it would need to keep um, strong for the week because um, what deep conditioning does and I've done a video on this and I'll probably put a link up on it up here so you can just mm. review it um, what deep conditioning actually does is it repairs your hair from the dryness and the sun, the heat from the sun rays um, that actually damages your hair. So it actually slows down your hair damage. It gives you a boost, a, a serious moisture boost. Okay, um, and it just repairs your hair from um, just the manipulation that you would have done during the week so this next one is um, high manipulation hairstyle and I'm gonna name protective hairstyles um, as one of my high manipulation hairstyles and let me clarify by saying um, I mean the protective hairstyles that um, you would pull your hair too tightly or like if you're doing braids and you do like those mini mini braids that take hours to make and hours to take to take down because you and I know um, when you're taking down those braids if it takes you more than an hour to take that off by the time an hour hits you're so tired you're literally just pulling it out and you just want to get it out so you can finish it by doing so you are actually putting strain on your hair and pulling out your hair strands so um, I would say protective hairstyles no manipulation hairstyles um, for me would be twists um, any twists that would not be excessively pulling on your hair and something that would take you less than half an hour to an hour to break down so that you're not so tired that you are pulling at your strands because of being impatient you know so i would also add to high manipulation hairstyles um, 
the tight um, bands or um, any hair that would literally pull your um, baby hair um, to a point where you literally your skull is is sitting like this or let me not say skull but your forehead is is sitting like this and you literally can't even sleep I've done that before I've been a victim of that so I know exactly what I'm talking about so and some of these hairstyles I couldn't even keep for two or three days and I literally had to be like listen I can't do it and the sad part is by the time you're actually um, so tired of it and you're taking it down you realize that you have pulled out so much hair from your scalp that was so unnecessary so that's the other one for me and I think the last one would be um, giving your hair a break from heat so if you are regularly blow drying your hair or um, doing the curls with the iron um, I don't even remember what it's called I think it's been a long time but um, the heat iron that you straighten your hair with um, if you're doing that regularly maybe take a month or two break from it you know because um, it does add on to stripping your hair off the moisture and it then leads you back to dry hair and then thereby breakage so, so the last one for me is detangling your hair so I always always say that um, before you comb your hair um, just finger detangle it saves you so many hair strands that you could be losing and I've been a victim of this also because when I'm impatient I just want to get done with the hair and do something else and I've just put a comb in my hair and literally pulled out two strands that no business putting because I was impatient so yeah, um, always, always, always go with your fingers first and wear a satin scarf, yes, satin scarf or sleep on a um, satin pillow and this helps your hair with the friction that your hair has to deal with while you're asleep and also it prevents the split ends from um, coming up because I mean obviously as you're moving your head and your hair is dealing with the friction it may cause split ends um, also the major reason why you would use a satin scarf or pillow is that it helps to retain your hair moisture so it doesn't strip um, away the moisture that you already have in your hair and I always say that well I always do this at home um, when I'm not um, doing anything and I'm just lazing around on the couch, I usually just go and put on my second scarf because um, when I'm just lazing on the couch, I realize there's a lot of friction with my hair and I've moisturized my couch with um, the products that I've had on my hair and I realize if it's not on my hair and it's on the couch, then it means my hair is drying up. So. I always, um, when I'm at home, just lazing around, just put on your satin scarf and protect your hair. Yeah, um, just getting through um, to the reasons why I actually lost so much hair. Um, I left my hair unattended for weeks on end um, because I, I just got so busy, you know, and I just didn't have the time. I didn't moisturize it. and. I put on excessive rice water so I wasn't washing my hair but I was adding rice water every second to third day thinking that it will strengthen my hair and not break my hair but in, a, in, a, in essence it did exactly the opposite because this was from one um, wash day so this is how much hair I lost just from one day it, it truly broke my heart um, but I do realize that what I did to my hair is I, I, I wasn't giving it moisture and I was overloading it with protein because my hair is low porosity hair and it doesn't want, it, want excessive protein so um, my hair just got tired and it, it 
growth from my my scalp so, yeah lesson learned um, it was a painful lesson I, I already see that my hair is not as full as it was um, even though some of it is still long but I've lost so much hair that it's not as full as it was meaning that all the progress that I had made throughout the last four to five months I've lost in a month. So yeah, my advice would just be knowing how to use uh, all these things that we put in our hair because yes, rice water works, but how do you use the rice water in your hair? So yeah, big lesson for 2021 and I, I will be taking it into 2022 and with that said um, I'd like to wish you guys all a happy festive season and let's get into 2022 with new hashtags and new goals and let's say 2022 choose you yeah and I encourage you to continue to choose yourself um, and just make goals and achieve them put yourself first and enjoy it while you're doing it um, i always say love is the beginning of all things great so if you're pouring out love in everything that you do that love goes a long way and it comes back to you so with that said happy 2022 Mwah.